Samen. William. And it's been a while because we've had Hanukkah, we've had Christmas, so it's been a couple weeks since we've been able to make our newest video cast, our game review. Um, but we are back, and if you caught um, our show last time, you would know that we are going to do what show? Blockus. Blockus. And you're tapping me right now because I need to pick something up. To show you that we are going to do Blockus. Alright. Um, some funny things about Blockus, or just some facts about Blockus, is it's made by um, a group called Mattel Games. Um, actually, you can get Blockus at a lot of different places. You can get it at Walmart, um, Target, and of course you can get it at Amazon. So it's a little bit more expensive at Amazon. How much is it? $25? And then at Walmart, I saw that it was $19.97. So, um, if you don't like wait, if you don't like ordering things online, you can go to Walmart and get it or Target. By the way, this is one fact about this. There's, t there's another one of these. It's, I, we, th it's the same thing with triangles, not squares, but they're like... Slanted. It's a hexagon. Like, it's a different game board. This the original comes with a square. And there's dots on it, so you, where you can play. Right, and I so it's a hexagon, and then they have different starting spots. So um, the starting spots for our square, you always have to start in a where. In a corner. In a corner. So. Um, come on, come on. We're, we're casting. <laughs> Okay, so this game is meant for two to four players. You can play with two players, three players, or four players, and we'll go over the different varieties. I have a which, fun fact. Which we've been playing a little bit wrong, but now we know. And then, how? what's the age recommendation? Seven and up. I've been playing this when I was five. Seven years or up, they recommend that. Okay, what's your fun fact? That if you play Uno then you might like this game because it's made by the same thing. Yeah, Uno, and they made another game, Pictionary. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> you draw on the air. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's go over the objective of the game, which we've been playing a little bit wrong. We haven't been doing points, but uh, the rules say that you are supposed to have the least amount of points. The winner has the least amount of points. And... The way you get, these are points, and so you you take turns also game placing. Pieces. You have twenty one game pieces, and you want to get as many of these on the board as you can. And so at the end of the game, when no one else can play, if you have any blocks left over, you lose points. So for instance, this one, William, how many blocks are on this piece? Five. So this would be, if you did not play this, it would be minus five points. What? Okay. Um, all right. So, um, yeah, there's four colors, and you always go in the order of blue, yellow, red, and green. I don't think we've been following that either. What? No. <laughs> We kind of like doing our own variety every once in a while, but... Um, every once in a while, that's how we've always played! That's how we've always played. So, um, going back to how to play, William, we, we said you start in a corner. Um, let's start with two players. Say you and I are playing. How can we play with two players with all these different colors? Each person gets how many colors? Two colors. Two. Wait, but isn't it you share... So, no, that's for three players. We'll go over that. So if there's just two players, each player will actually play two colors. And then you keep going. Okay? We've, we've been playing like this, but we've never played with four. But so we've a we little rule breakers when we're playing with three people. Sure. And then for, if there's three players, this is where it gets a little confusing and we haven't really been following it. You actually, so each player gets a color, and then there's there'll be one color left. You're actually supposed to split up that one color among all three players, okay? So you always want to use all the pieces. And whether it's two players, three players, or four players, you always want to use all the pieces. 
My favorite color. Now let's show them. A, let's just show a couple of different. Um, we'll do the green. You can show them. Can I show them? Right? Sure. Yeah. So there's small pieces like this two piecer. Hold on. Let me find the one I want here. There's a one there's piecer. A one piece you want to save this for the end because it can probably just go anywhere. And then there's some really big funky ones like this six piecer. Um, and this boomerang. This five piecer. This boomerang. Um. Also, there's just a stripe piece. I like using. Where did it go? All right. Well, let's. The we're... staircase to start, and this to trap. These two things to trap people. Yeah, and so um, as you play, you're gonna want to try and block people off, called blackus, um, so they can't play. And we're gonna we're gonna pause the video, and we're gonna set up the board, and then when we come back, we're gonna show you what the what it looks like Welcome in the back. game. It Jump. took us a minute to set it up, but we did it. And the blue looks a little purplish, but we have an in-game uh, board here. William and I have um, just scrambled random pieces everywhere. Pretty much, but we kind of want to show you how this works and uh, kind of the object here. So, so as you can see, see how they're all kind of connected to a corner? You have to let them ca connect to the corner or else you cannot go there. Okay, give, an, give us an example if it's... Um, so, do you see... Do you see this red piece right here? Yep, the four blocks. You can put it right here. But where you cannot put this red piece is right here because it's touching a side. Yes. It can only touch a corner. So let's zoom in. As you can see, it's only touching a corner. Perfect. So let's go. Let's do another example. Say if it's yellow's turn, um, I'm gonna go down here, and I can do this, but I cannot do this. Okay. Um, so as you can see, uh, this is a getting, this board is getting pretty full. So a lot of the colors are probably going to not be able to make many moves. So um, you play until um, you play as many as you can until you cannot play anymore. And then we would count up our squares. So example, yellow would count up all of these squares, which is a lot. We have five, ten, fourteen, eighteen. Um, 23, 24, 25, 26, 31, 36, plus 5, 41 points. That's a Hold lot. On, let me count mine. No, we don't need to count those up. Um, but we did just want to show you all how I it, probably won anyways. How it kind of works. So, um, I had a lot of points. Just judging on, I know blue doesn't have many, so, and neither does red, so. Green um, has a million. Green has a bunch, so. Um, let's move our camera back to us. There we go. And, um, I think we are, have two other things we need to do, which is to give it a rating and then to preview our next game. So out of five stars, I'll go first. Um, I'll go with like a three. I do like it, but I don't have to play it that much. What do you think? I would give it a three. All right. Well, there you go. Three out of five. We both we both said three out of five. Um, you chose an interesting game. On our first thing, I think, or our second, on one of our things, you heard us say the word that spells C A T N. That spells Catan. There's different versions of it. We have the first version, and we're not going to say anything else until the next video. Except we will show you a picture, but we are going to try and review Catan in one episode. It might take more because it is probably the most complicated game that we have reviewed. Right now. Yeah. Because we're going to review it. Um, all right. Well, that wraps it up. Um, I forgot what we say at the end. Do you remember? Yes, I think. What? Don't forget to leave a like and we'll see you back on our next video.